challenge is to create a work from home desktop PC with a budget of 5,000 pesos and everything must be done through online shopping. First on my list is a motherboard. I chose the ASRock N68 CGS with AM3 Plus socket. It also supports DDR3 and this is a surplus unit that costs me 850 pesos. Then I paired it with AMD Athlon 2X to 250 a dual core CPU processor that costs 250 pesos. Kung mapapansin nyo, mura yung motherboard and yung CPU natin kasi both items are second hand unit and outdated. Pero ganun pa man, marami pa rin gumagamit ng processor na to dahil capable pa naman ito sa mga light and simple tasks. For memory, I purchased a generic DDR3 8GB, 16,000MHz, 1.5 voltage for AMD desktop for 1,050 pesos. Next is the storage. I chose an SSD Kingston A4000, 128GB for 1,220 pesos. Since ang main function ng build na to ay makabuo ng work from home PC, mas magandang gumamit ng SSD compared sa HHD. Makapanood kayo ng maraming videos about dito. I still on my budget so I added a graphics card. And the cheapest I can find is a generic uh, NVIDIA 9500 GT with 512 MB 128 bit for 680 pesos. Mapapanood nyo sa susunod kong video kung ano yung makayang laruin ng graphics card na ito. Next on my list is the case. I chose the Intelligent Mini CPU case. It is a brand new case for 699 pesos. Then I paired it with the Intelligent Power Supply 700 watts for 356. Mapapansin nyo, maraming mas murang case kaysa sa napili ko dahil misleading yung seller ang sabi nyo nung una may kasama ng power supply yung case pero nung dumating sa akin kaya ako pa palang bumili ng separate for the monitor I am expecting the HP LT 191W 19 inch but rather I receive a think vision L197 19 inch for 1099 pesos downside of buying online is some sellers are not transparent on the items the cheapest brand of AVR can find in the market is the secured AVR 220 volts for 250 pesos For the chassis, it doesn't have any fan, so I need to buy the Allen Exhaust Cooling Fan for 58 pesos. Since the two yung kailangan ko na 120 mm fan at isa na lang yung available, gusto ko sana sa same seller ako bumili ng fan, so naganap ako ng cheapest and I found out na meron silang fan LED blue. For 120 pesos and for the motherboard that doesn't have any accessory I still need to buy the SATA cable SATA 3 for 75 pesos last is the Wi-Fi dongle since the motherboard doesn't have a Wi-Fi 
so I need to buy it for 88 pesos hindi ko na nga pala naisama yung keyboard and mouse sa build na to kasi hindi pa siya dumarating sa bahay pero I do suggest na ang bilhin nyo is yung A4 Tech KRS8572 for 438 pesos when building your own PC please take note of the compatibility of the PC parts I have an experience to purchase a Penom CPU then nalaman ko na lang after hindi pala compatible to sa nabili kong motherboard I could say I'm not an expert on building a PC and suggest na manood na kayo ng mga videos online kung paano yung proper way on how to build a PC. Compared sa second hand PC build sa market, masasabi kong mas maganda yung nabuo ko dahil na-customize ko siya based sa kailangan ko. One of the biggest concern when buying online lalo na kapag gadgets or PC parts is kung sila yung item sobrang hassle ibalik lalo na kapag yung seller ay hindi pa din ang kausap kung hindi naman sila yung item second concern ko is kung tama ba yung specs na nakalagay sa description lalo na yung experience ko ngayon yung monitor na iba yung pinatata sa akin most of the item came from China meron din mga seller na hindi akad siya ship yung item kahit na order mo na sila ahead of time regarding the durability hindi ko yun ma-assure sa inyo dahil most of the items are second hand ina-expect ko na yung PC build na to ay magalas lang ng 1 to 2 years uh, the expected total price of all the items I mentioned in this video is 6,675 but since I do it online and there are a lot of voucher, free delivery, cashback ang total discounted price ng build na to is 4,970 pesos Naka-save ako ng 1,705 pesos. Compare sa prices sa mall, mas cheaper yung nakikita ko online. Then, pwede mo pa siyang dagdagan ng mga vouchers and free shipping. Natuto rin ako mag-build ng sarili kong PC. Sa mahabang panahon, nanonood lang ako ng mga PC build tutorial. But right now, I try to experience it on my own. Sa halagang 5,000 pesos, nakapag-build ako ng PC na magagamit ng sister ko para sa kanyang work from home.